Hi, I'm Sophie Sambury and I'm coming back to YouTube. I just wanted to give you a little update on where I'm at with everything. As you know, if you follow my Instagram, I have moved house, which was really traumatic, much more traumatic than I thought it would be. Just giving up um, a house that I really made some fabulous memories in and made my own. And uh, turning my back on that was, was harder than I imagined it to be. Letting go of the emotional connection with it and also just letting go of all my hopes and dreams to be in that house for a long time. But I'm actually really pleased that I unshackled from being so constrained by financial pressure living there. And I've downsized from a six bedroom house to a three bedroom house, which is quite significant. And we've still got lots of space and we've got a garden and we really don't need any more than we have now. So it's actually a really nice feeling to have let go and given up something that I felt was very important that actually the reality is it's not that important, it's all material. And a lot of the time we build things up in our head and make them so big that it seems impossible to change anything, but change can be really, really good. So I'm now settling into my new home. It's in a new area, which is actually really nice. And um, having new things around you, new shops, so I didn't really have any shops where I was before. Um, I literally had Tesco's down the road and that was it. And now I've got Whole Foods and all the shops around Fulham Broadway. I've got a couple of parks here, not quite as nice as Bishop's Park. But it's a really nice change and the boys and I are enjoying our new surroundings. So, so far, so good. And I will be doing a house tour, but at the moment I've still got a lot to do. I am renting this property, so I'm not doing a complete facelift on it. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna be here, so I don't wanna make too much of an investment, but obviously I want to make it my own. And on the work front, business is going really well. I've got a couple of really great clients who are in the country, which is quite hard juggling being in the country and being in London. Obviously, I've got my two gorgeous little boys, and I love to be home when they come home from school because I cook for them every evening and we always have our evening meal all together around the table and talk about the day. And actually one thing that um, I've really taken stock of is communicating with the children. Obviously they've been through a lot of change as well. It's not just me that's had to move us. They've got a new bedroom and they're sharing their bedroom which is quite a big difference and they've never done that before. And I think, you know, we take for granted and certainly they took for granted having lovely big bedrooms with all their toys and their desk and their little private space. The bonus side of having them in the same room is they've actually grown a lot closer. So Finn always goes to bed 10 minutes before Harry, in theory, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, but it's really nice that they wake up together and instead of waking me up now straight away, they actually put on one of their CDs, normally the BFG in the morning, on their CD player and they have a box set story together, um, audio story, which is just so lovely. So quite often when I go downstairs and look in their bedroom thinking they can't still be asleep, they'll both be cosied up in one of their beds and listening to this audio tape. So it's actually really, really lovely. And um, as a family, it's just brought us even closer. And at supper, what I'm doing now is just doing a little recap of the day as we've always done, talked about what's happened at school, what they had for lunch, what they enjoyed, what they didn't enjoy, whether they're happy, if there's anything on their mind, in a really gentle way, obviously I don't say, are you happy? Have you got anything going on? La, la, la. But we just talk about life and what's going on. And we've added a new thing, which is what we are thankful for. So we all go around the table and we all say what the favorite part of our day was and that we're thankful for it and that we're happy and all together in our family. And it just hopefully cements to the boys that wherever we are, whichever house we might be living in, whether we're here or abroad or whether they're with me or their father or my parents or wherever they are, we are very much a unit and we're strong and together we will always have each other. I've got to tell you about our podcast. So um, my lovely videographer Georgie is going to come and video some of our podcasts that are going out. Caroline Fleming and I were sitting around the kitchen chatting about what we were up to and we had uh, an email from somebody in Stockholm saying that we'd really like to talk to you about doing a podcast. 
And Caroline and I sat around the table. Caroline was all very gung-ho. She was like, yeah, we're doing it. And I said, really, would, would anyone want to tune into that? What are we, you know, what are we going to talk about? What are we going to share with people? And we decided that we would give it a go and just really talk about our own experiences coming from the heart and be completely honest because Instagram projects a certain image of you and you can put a lovely, you know, jacket on and go and take a great picture in the sunshine by a lovely setting and everything looks peachy and amazing and you know, like nothing is going wrong in your life. But the reality is behind that picture is you might be moving house, you might be struggling to pay bills, you might be really challenged in some area, you might have your heart broken, whatever it is. And Caroline and I really wanted to share our inside feelings and thoughts and um, stages of life. It's just been such an amazing response to the podcast and Caroline and I are so touched and so honoured and flattered to have anybody even wanting to listen to us. And it's really grown and grown and grown. So we're now on episode eight, which is insane. I can't even believe we've done eight episodes. And that's available to listen to on Spotify and iTunes. And um, what we're really, really enjoying at the moment is getting guest speakers on. So where we're not as knowledgeable or where we like to do things, I like to have a few tweaks, a bit of Botox here and there, we're then getting the experts on who we work with to come talk to you or to whoever wants to listen to the podcast um, about that particular area of expertise. So we've already had lovely Dr. Marwa talking about baby Botox. We had amazing Mario McAvan yesterday who talked about eye surgery and laser treatments. We've had Yalda who talks about her paleo diet and how that's helped heal her from the inside out. Um, so next week we've got a fabulous team coming to talk about women's sexual health, which is really important. Um, I think we are quite going ho in our lives about things. And until we get sick, we don't really think about it or do the research. So these girls are gonna come and talk to us about everything you need to know when you're going back out there in the dating world or if, even if you're in a relationship with somebody. Um, so we've got lots more amazing guest speakers coming on and thank you so much for listening to our podcast. Yeah, I'm just really happy to be back and out again. So thanks so much for tuning in. Big kiss to all of you and lots more to come.